Hi everyone, welcome to New Horizon London's Tips and Tricks. We're going to look right now in the Windows 8 series at enabling and using Hyper-V. Hyper-V is the virtualization platform from Microsoft where we run virtual machines in memory uh, at utilizing the physical hardware on a single physical server or PC. In this case, Windows 8, so it's a PC. Okay, if I go to my control panel, first thing you want to be aware of is that Hyper-V runs uh, a lot of commands that are utilized by uh, through the .NET framework which is potentially older programs in programs and features we're going to enable the .NET framework 3 that's uh, including uh, 2, 3 and 3.5 if we haven't done that uh, on a single machine by the process you've just seen you can do it through the command line I'm going to run this as administrator <coughs> and you can enable the DISM, that's the Deployment Imaging Servicing Management command to set an online operating system to enable its features of a feature name .NET 3.5 so, so .NET 3, it includes all the versions and uh, you need the source files for the installation so the Windows 8 CD will be fine mine's in the CD driver, which is F drive that should go through it was already installed but that is the process you will uh, see I uh, thought you'd like to see that uh, there's a lot more coming from the Deployment Imaging Service and Management tool. Just give a little introduction there. We're going to look at, uh, for example, modifying an offline image in another course. Anyway, come back to that later on. So once that's enabled and programs and features have that enabled, we look at term features on or off and we enable Hyper-V in here as well. You can see I've already got it enabled. And to call up Hyper-V, I'm going to click Start type HYP it's already there and I've already loaded a couple of virtual machines one is saved one is off let's have a look at the settings for the machine that's off I can show you in here when I load this virtual machine it boots from CD it has four gigabytes of RAM it has one logical processor four cores if I want to enable it not I'm gonna talk to you too much detail about that now hard drive where is the VHD or virtual hard drive that we're going to use that's where all the settings for that virtual machine are stored does it use a CD or should we load an image which is an ISO file and there's other things for example I can make private networking capable of different uh, networks for example my 8.1 or my Windows 8 labs uh, networks I thought you might like to see a little bit on that so we might come back to this another day but for now here's what Hyper-V lets us do oh dear I've just changed the network cancel that go back into the save machine I've just loaded up a Windows 8.1 preview there's Windows 8.1 and look at that we've got our start button back a couple of new features in there all apps we are not going to start uh, talking about uh, lessons to do with Windows 8.1 anyway uh, this is my virtual machine gives me all my usual features for a desktop environment uh, you can see I've got Windows 8 uh, for 8.1 Pro. It's a preview version. Uh, 4 gig of RAM, etc. Anyway, this is me being able to work uh, and test lab environments, right, with virtual machines. If you'd like to see that, I'm going to save that virtual machine. It's closing the memory, saving it back to that virtual hard drive VHD file and now the virtual machine is off I can kill out Hyper-V Hyper hope you enjoyed that little video come back for more tips and tricks soon New Horizons London, bye now